and the next operator is in URL as you know that in URL is the website link which you can see in the search bar and what is the use of this in URL operator this will give you the keywords which you are searching in the URL pattern see suppose see if you are searching for a uh, keyword called resume you can type it like this here in URL colon resume you will see the results in the URL pattern as you can see here you can see the result the resume the word keyword resume is in the URL pattern so suppose if you are searching for an Hadoop developer on any other CVs like anything so always use the keywords like CV resume or uh, the PDFs or anything so always don't forget there is no space between the keywords operators colons and the given keywords and one more uh, important thing is that you should not use uh, words two or more words while using this in URL operator because in URL operators doesn't basically URL doesn't have spaces as you can see uh, google.com doesn't have space as you can see usitrecruit.com doesn't have space so there is no way to search uh, for two or more keywords when you are sourcing uh, by using this in URL operator and the next operator is the file type as the name itself says it will search for the files like PDFs, docs, JPEGs and spreadsheet and you can use the file uh, you can use the search term as like this file type colon JPEG or XLS or DOC doc or PDFs you should not you cannot use dot DOC dot XLS or anything as you can see here I am searching for the attendees uh, space file type xls i am looking for who are going to an attendees means who who went to a, a list of attendees for an event or anything suppose in recruitment we want resumes so you can use this operator to search a bundle of resumes as we don't find on the our ats or a search engines okay uh, till now you have been uh, seeing the basics of the xray search and now let's mix and match all these uh, boolean op sorry x-ray operators then we'll play with this suppose let's think we are searching for cvs or resumes on the google or bing so what we can write what let's think what a person can able to write it we can see you can able to write it as a cv or resume or cv in a spanish things or anything as you see on the screen so the next step is that on which type he can able to upload the file there are mainly basically there are two types where a candidate or a person can upload their resume that is either might be on pdf or might be on doc so set up a string like uh, like in url so sorry file type colon pdf or file type colon doc and the next third step is that we have done with the what what we are looking for we are looking for cvs or resumes and then next we are looking for the what type of file type and the next thing is that we can search it in on google by this okay let's search and you can able to see the results which are the templates the samples and the uh, the writing tips and everything as this is correct but we need to modify this string again so let's get back and we what we are getting is that we need to uh, remove all those things by using minus sign minus writing tips minus um, tips minus templates minus courses minus job description let's attach this and let's search it again see as you see here we are getting the results of the resumes or the doc files which we are uh, happen to see and the next 
thing here that from here it is very clear see uh, we are getting the re results as cv and we are getting the file types are doc or uh, pdfs and the third type we have eliminated all the uh, stuff we uh, doesn't uh, need and the fourth thing we need what type of uh, role you are looking at suppose you are looking for a hadoop developer you can write as just a boolean string like hadoop or big data or spark or hive then attach that string particular string to the existing both these things then search it on google then you can see in the real time these are all the resumes where you can download it and these are all the um, uh, resumes where you can't able to find it on your ats or the job portals and this is all about the x-ray search operators i hope you enjoyed this video hope you learn and if you learn this if you learn something from this video please do share with this uh, to your other friends and do subscribe to this channel for more videos and don't forget to hit on the bell icon for the next video notification thank you so much